What's going on everybody? My name is Stephen Wimberly and this is Working with Wimberly. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I took my laundry room from this to this. This is the laundry room in my home and it used to be one of the worst places in the home. Now it's one of the nicest. This was never a priority, but I figured it was about time that I renovated this room. This was about a three day process. On day one, I came in here and I pretty much just wiped everything down and I patched up the walls, filled in any of the dents and holes or anything like that. Got the washer and dryer out and then I sanded the walls down. And also while I did that, I had these cabinets outside they were bare wood and I went ahead and stained them. So I had these ready to go. On day two, I came in and sanded down all of the repairs on the wall. Then I painted. After that, we went ahead and took the outlet, which used to be up here and I dropped it down so that it's out of sight, put up the backsplash and I had one of my buddies help me hang up the cabinets. This isn't HGTV, this is actual real life. And even though I'm pretty handy, a small room like this still took me three days to complete the job. So just keep that in mind whenever you're gonna tackle a project like this. And also, cost-wise. So I'm in about 300 for the cabinets and I'm in 100 for the backsplash. And this is peel and stick vinyl tile. It's actually worked out really well. I'm really impressed with the way this looks. Both of these came from Lowe's. The peel and stick backsplash was uh, about $10 a piece and I needed nine pieces. And a good thing about this is when I was finished with it, it came down to here, but then I was able to get three extra rows to get it down lower by simply piecing it together one piece at a time. Therefore, I used up all the scraps and I had nothing left. So that worked out pretty good. And I'm really happy with the way this turned out. This went from one of the worst rooms in the house to a room that's pleasant that you don't mind coming in, doing some laundry, and just, you know, getting some work done around the house. So you can do a project like this too. There's nothing too complicated. Just make sure you give yourself enough time. Again, this is not a TV show. It's real life. So you might run into some hurdles. But overall, it was a pretty easy upgrade. And I'm very happy with the new look of the laundry room. If you found that video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment. God bless you all.